This is a 2% black. So we have 2% black Union ink mixed with 98% finesse so that we just get kind of a lighter shadowy color. It's on a 305 mesh. Squeegee pressure is standard medium, about a 12.5 angle with one stroke, standard off contact as well. Next we have 159C, it's a kind of a uh, darker Texas orange. On a 180 mesh, same medium pressure, one stroke. This is 2188C Pantone, again on a 180 mesh with medium squeegee pressure, one stroke, and the speed is right around two or three. This is 158C, it's a brighter orange, and this has got about 30% puff in it. The puff is in it mostly to give us some texture in the finished product. This has got two strokes on a 110 mesh with about standard medium speed, standard off contact. And this is where we start the process of adding some texture to this print and getting a little bit of puff at the end for some special effects. Right here is where we start flashing it after the puff so that way it doesn't get any buildup on the following screens and also so that the puff isn't getting smushed too hard on the next following screens. This is a 15% black and this is gonna give us the nice little shadowy look that's gonna go in between the final color. When you see the final version of it, you'll understand why it's there. This is 15% black ink with 85% finesse in it so that we, again, just kind of get a lighter, not quite gray, but more of a shadowy black look. This is a cool gray one with about 30% uh, puff in it. This is gonna give us the texture on the stitching that you see here that's in between the black shadows from the previous color. And this is our final color. Once it goes through the dryer and reaches the proper temperature, then we'll have a cool textured patch, a cleat look.